What's up guys, Tao here and today I will do a quick benchmarking video on this uh, 2017 13 inches MacBook Pro and um, I will do some synthetic uh, benchmarking test uh, but the real, uh, the real test I want to see is how this uh, MacBook Pro run the uh, Final Cut Pro so um, uh, stay around Right, before we go ahead to do the test, uh, let's just have a look at the uh, processor inside this um, MacBook Pro. It uses i5 uh, 7th generation uh, 7360U uh, running at 2.3GHz. Uh, it does boost to 3.6GHz uh, once in um, heavy load. Uh, the GPU is Intel Iris Plus 640, that is the graphics card. Right, the first test we're going to do is the uh, using the Geekbench 4. Uh, I just see what the uh, score is. Um, we're going to do the CPU. That's the 13 to meet 2017, running at 10.2.6. Uh, a memory 8 gig, i5 running at 2.3. So yeah, let's just do the CPU benchmark. Okay, the result is in. Um, the single core score is 4,491. Uh, the multi core score is 9,494. Um, I think this is all right um, for a uh, base model MacBook Pro. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what the higher end uh, MacBook Pro perform, but this score to me is kind of acceptable. Um, uh, but just bear in mind, this is just a, th a synthetic benchmark. It's not the real life performance. The next test is the uh, GPU test. Um, uh, it's the Intel Iris Plus 640. Um, now this one will be uh, the OpenCL um, testing, and let's see how well the OpenCL perform on this uh, graphics card. All right, here's the result: uh, twenty-nine thousand five hundred fifty-four. That's the uh, OpenCL score. All right, next is the Luxmark. Um, we're gonna do the uh, GPU and the CPU test. Uh, so yeah, let's just see the score. Okay, here I have imported the video clip, so I'm gonna just do a straightforward um, export and uh, to see how long it's gonna take to export this 4K video. So I'll be selecting web hosting, and 4K faster encode and open nothing. The estimated file size is 114 megabytes. And then we'll just give a name test. And then I will be using the stopwatch and then um, to just time the thing. And there we go. Okay, it took 1 minute 10 seconds, about 1 minute 10 seconds to finish the export, um, which is not bad uh, for 4K video footage, um, but obviously if the video length is longer, so that's going to take a long while. Let me show you what happens if you try to edit a 4K uh, video clip. Uh, okay. This is the timeline scrubbing. Uh, in to be honest, this is not the most um, smooth scrubbing um, I've seen, but for the Intel Iris Plus 640 graphics card, in my opinion, it's doing an extremely good job. Um, uh, it's, it's fairly smooth. Um, and also, when you do the scrubbing, if you notice the, the CPU usage, 
it doesn't really use uh, a huge amount of the uh, CPU, which is um, it's is really really um, efficient at the process here. Um, this is another advantage of the is the software, the system, and hardware optimization, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and also, when you try to play back uh, on the timeline, there's no frame drop, um, which is, in my opinion, again, is quite impressive. Um, so yeah, so the Final Cut Pro is really like the optimization of the system and hardware. Um, yeah, it's it's good job, Apple. That was the quick benchmarking of this 2017 MacBook Pro at the base model. Um, what do you guys think? Was the result expected? Um, if you have any uh, thoughts or opinion, uh, please leave the comment down below uh, so we can share with other people. So, uh, who is this MacBook Pro for, uh, you may ask? Um, in my opinion, it will work with any kind of situation or most of the tasks you thrown at it. Um, to a certain extent, of course. Uh, for example, if you want to do a, a light video editing, even a 4K uh, video editing, that's okay. As long as you don't throw too much at it, uh, that will be fine. And also, uh, maybe programming or coding, uh, again, uh, in general, it will work absolutely no issues at all. And just when you do a large project, uh, that may struggle with the, the processing power and the memory. So, and also um, for students, I think it's ideal for students, uh, essays and Facebook and YouTube stuff, that's absolutely fine with it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy or find this video interesting. Um, if you liked the video, click on the like and share with others. Uh, if for some reason you didn't like the video, uh, you know what to do. And also please click on the subscribe button to keep up with my channel and for the future video update. So hopefully I will do more videos like this for you guys in the future. So uh, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.